dear friends good morning welcome to sai academy of electrical engineering today i am going to discuss one of the most important topic that is the comparison of ac motors or i can say the comparison between synchronous and induction motors on the basis of their construction i can say synchronous motor is complicated in their construction but induction motor is very simple or particularly in the case of squirrel cage rotor you all know that the synchronous motor is not self starting even though it has all abilities to make it self start but induction motor is a self starting motor Synchronous motor is a kind of doubly excited machine because we need to give excitation to rotor as well as the stator. We give AC excitation to a stator and DC excitation to rotor. But in case of induction motor, we no need to give any kind of excitation to rotor. It get excited by the induced DMF of a stator. if i talk about with respect to the speed i can say as their name suggests synchronous motor have constant speed and this speed we is called synchronous speed means rotor is will rotate always at a same speed of rotating magnetic field or synchronous speed but in case of induction motor there is no any possibility so rotor can make it speed equal to the rotating magnetic field the speed of rotor is always lesser than the in the name in the case of induction motor so slip is available in induction motor but slip is always zero in synchronous motor due to the constant speed speed control is quite difficult in synchronous motor but nowadays by changing the frequency we can easily control the speed of synchronous motor but speed control in induction motor is not so difficult it is possible but there is some difficulties also but in the case of swarm rotor induction motor it is quite easy in the case of, in the name of induction motor in synchronous motor as the load increases load angle increases the angle between induced the angle between induced dmf the angle between induced dmf as well as up supply voltage but in the case of induction motor as load increases the speed keeps on decreasing in synchronous motor by changing excitation the rotor power filter can be changed from lagging and leading like if i take example of synchronous motor there is only one motor which work on leading power factor means when synchronous motor is operated on no load and the over excitation mode then it work its power factor will be leading or it works as a synchronous condenser but in case of induction motor power factor is always lagging due to the leading power factor characteristics synchronous motor can used as a synchronous condenser but there is no any kind of possibility in induction motor motor is sensitive to sudden change load in in case of synchronous motor and which causes hunting where the the rotor tries to always achieve the constant speed of rotating magnetic field but due to such sudden change in heavy load load there is slight changes between the speed and hunting phenomenon occurs but in case of induction motor as i told the rotor speed is always different to the stator speed stator rotating field speed that's why hunting is absent due to the typical construction as well as double excitation double supply system the construction of synchronous motor is costly as well as it needs frequent maintenance due to the carbon process in the rotor side but in case of induction motor it is quite cheap or especially the case motor is very cheap and up to 90 to 95% industry 
is occupied or used by the only induction motors. That is all about the comparison between the AC motors or I can say the comparison between the synchronous motor or induction motor. Friends hope your concepts will be is cleared and if you have any kind of doubt please post in the comment box so I can reply as soon as possible. Dear friends, if you like my and if you like and learn from my videos, then please subscribe it, share it so that I can motivate myself. Thank you very much. Thank you for once again.